bell to bell. He really is. He doesn't get enough credit. Hey, look at this here. Whoa. Oh, right oh, into the, the, oh, beautiful job. Into that the transition. salt of the earth. And to him, he baited him in. Great transition right to that salt of the earth on bar. And MJF biting. He was biting at the hands of Takesta. Paul Turner. Paul Turner warned him, but Takesta, the roll up. MJF forced to abandon ship on the arm bar. Watch out. Don't uh -oh. go outside whoa, of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Takesta over the top. Wow, what a great opening bout. Awesome. It's ready to get the world, see the world champion right. in action. And Takesha really bringing a hell of a fight right now. He's looking great. The first of four matches with all the AEW World Championships in play. This, the AEW World Championship Eliminator match. AEW World Women's World Championship Eliminator match. AEW World Trios Championship match. AEW World Tag Team Championship match. We are loaded tonight. Championship fight night, son. That's the right name for it. And that's what it is. Now, look at this. It Pulling down the knee well, pad. When you're on your knees, this guy's going to come with a knee strike. It's dangerous. Takesha's dangerous when his opponent's on his knees. Oh, no! Ooh. MJF once again bailing out. Took too long pulling the pad down, guys. That's what happened there. Well, he wanted to expose the kneecap, which is not illegal. Smart by Takesha. It just took a little while doing it. He's still grabbing that bicep, though. Yes, that's his arm, Shabani. Right. Thanks. Good comeback. <laughs> MJF returned to the ring to, <laughs> and once again, putting the official in the way. And oh! MJF has never met a low road he wouldn't take. Well, it's true. I mean, you've been saying it. Shivani's been saying it. Saying it's no doubt about it. You're both right. Like I said earlier, the guy will cheat. He will take shortcuts, MJF. Hence why he has that world title. And which also makes him so dangerous. But I mean, is that the type of man you want to represent this organization? A man that will take shortcuts whenever they present themselves. Well, I have no say in that. I'm just a merely a small color commentator. I mind my business, I do my job, but I understand the question. <laughs> Where were we? Okay. Takeshita answers with a big shot of his own. Three, four, five, six. Repeated elbow strikes. Answering unabated, and now. MJF, he fed that boot to Takeshi in order to get the thumb to the eyes. But Takeshi coming back, swing and a miss. Work up front. No! Oh my God. Power bump oh. on the knee. But that was the knee that MJF dropped on the mat. There's a lot of pain there. That did, I don't know who got it worse than. I think MJF might have got it worse than Takeshi. I think so too. MJF, it is again. Before this oh. power bomb on the knee, when he was looking for that knee drop on Takeshita, Takeshita avoided it, and MJF came up clutching it. Then, out of instinct, delivered the power bomb. But oh. there goes go blue thunder bomb. The stack got a big upset. Oh wow! But you notice Takeshita once again. That palm was upward. Oh! But the knee it connected. This has got to be it. Got him. One, two. So smart, the ring presence of MJF, putting that foot on a rope, utilizing that bottom rope. But what a knee strike. I said it earlier, guys, when his opponent is on his knee, on their knees, and he comes with a knee strike, good luck. Were it not for the bottom rope, were it not for the positioning of MJF, Konosuke Takeshita would have an AEW World Championship title shot next Wednesday night. Now he's got to focus, leave that alone, and keep forging ahead here. Not look back. Take your shot now. Agree completely with you, Tony. You're right. Takeshita. Oh, oh man. Which the tough to balance yeah, in the middle like that. the arm, especially. But instead, the set on Atomico. That momentary pause. Oh, look at that. Look at that. MJF once again. Seizing on the left arm. Looking for the salt of the earth. That's it deep, guys. This is going to be it. And great positioning by MJF. He has his body in between Takeshita and the nearest rope. Absolutely. And he's just, he's pushing all his weight into the back of Takesha. Takesha doing the right thing, trying to get to the ropes. And as he turns his hip underneath him, that actually puts more pressure. If he were to turn into MJF, he'd be able to relieve some of the pressure. And you're right. And that's why MJF's putting the pressure down with his buttocks onto the mat to avoid Takesha rolling in. And MJF rolls. Oh, nice. Now he's nice. cranking upward. No, look at the bridge. Look at that. And Konosuke yeah, Takesha forced to tap out. No, no. Further to go than that. Here is your the AEW World Champion, MJF. Well, especially off of the earlier injury, 
on to catch his arm. I mean, there's no way that he's going to be able to sustain something like that. It was great, a great outing by Takeshita, but man, that was just swamped by the champion at the end. Well, MJF successfully fends off Kanosuke Takeshita in this AEW World Championship Eliminator match. I, I, I got to give him his credit. It was a oh, oh come. On. Just when I was going to give him props, he goes and he does this. He's got to put the he, ring back on. The ring and the back ring on. Oh! That dynamite diamond ring. This sucks. That's just a big chunk of metal, man. That's a weapon, that ring. It's not your basic uh, little uh, <laughs> ring finger ring gimmick. That thing is big and thick. And MJF after the bell. All the damage done to that shoulder of Kanosuke to that to Kesta, and that's not enough for our world champion Tanner. Yeah, he's probably going a little too far here. I, I, I kind of agree with you guys on it. Three times, he's three bleeding. times, just busted him open too. Yeah, he, he touched the referee. That's a catch. Oh, oh, no, 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 the American Dragon Brian Danielson returning the favor for Takeshita. But perhaps not soon enough to catch the land in a pool of his blood. And Brian Danielson. He will be facing off with Roosh later on tonight. If Danielson wins, he will earn his shot at MJF at Revolution Sunday, March 5th in the 60-minute Ironman match at the AEW World Championship. Yeah, they got to get the doctor to yeah. check out the catch. He split open pretty bad. There's Dr. Sampson checking on him. Always going to need a stitch or two or three or whatever's going on there. Absolutely. We got a, another medical personnel out, one of the medical team here at AEW. This is, this wow. is a horrible scene. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect this. I mean, that, that once he put that ring on and he put his hands on the referee, MJF. Yeah, what drives a man to do that, guys? I mean, he wins the match. What? I, all I could say, knowing Max, he might have he might have felt like, catch, you know, he might have just felt like he was trying to upstage him or something. I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. I don't know. Well.